April 12th, Fallout 76 update is here. One thing stands out among all the updates and all the little bug fixes that a lot of people are gonna be upset about, at least a handful, but oh well, we'll definitely get to that. But yeah, guys, the update wasn't nothing insanely big. So for PC, it ranged from 1.6 1, 1 gigs to nine, and then consoles were 9.2 and 9.1. So not an insanely big update, but I mean, significant enough. So some minor bug fixes, art, the Silver Shroud Tesla paint now correctly applies on the charging shotgun barrel mods. That's nice for people that own that. Some camp and workshop fixes fixed an issue in where cheaters could place NPCs in the game world. This was actually pretty freaking crazy. DTD Gamer put out a video on this where a buddy of his, not him himself, a buddy of his put a bunch of NPCs in a shelter ranging from Fallout New Vegas, Fallout 4, all kind of wild stuff. Dog meat. That was an interesting glitch. Like they could spawn Earl Williams they, you know, or, or the Colossus whatever whatever it might be and uh sit there and keep farming xp it was actually pretty wild the diner wall lights now correctly play a sound when toggling it on and off that's always nice wires can now be attached to the power connector in the firewatch tower that's actually a great update uh I, i'm a huge advocate of the firewatch tower i love that thing actually um i grabbed it almost immediately that's nice that it can now be powered red backwoods bungalow now has an accompanying door which can be found in the doors tab in the build menu okay not bad i think it's pretty cool that was a free item for fallout first members i believe so that's nice to have players can now correctly place blueprints that contain the charleston fire station there we go that has been a reoccurring problem where you can't blueprint certain items because they won't place again so i'm glad they're addressing that wall decor items like pendants frames posters signs and etc no longer clip into the enclave camp walls i don't know how i feel about that it sounds like that is affecting people building in a negative way. So we'll have to look into that more eventually. These are these are all okay, but nothing compares to one of these later fixes that are gonna blow people's minds. The requirements for the complete different daily op quests world challenge have been reduced from 23 to 22 and, and can now be correctly completed. Okay, just like there's, uh, I think a few of them like kill the Scorch Beast Queen that I know I've done a million times, but I still haven't got that achievement. I'm glad they're addressing the actual challenges so we can finally complete them. Melee Vats attacks while in third person view no longer calls the player to encounter a black screen. I wasn't ever sure with that. I know Melee Vats attacks can be used in other ways. I'm not sure if that affects what I'm thinking of, so we'll have to try that at some point. But with enemies, addressed instances where enemies could sometimes become frozen and unresponsive. Yeah, I've seen that plenty, and uh, I'm so glad they fixed that. That could be obnoxious. Wolves fixed an issue that could prevent wolves and other dog type enemies from attacking the enemy or attacking the player, good. Events and quests, using the world activity tracker to fast travel to a public event that the player is already participating in no longer causes them to be removed from the event. Oh my gosh, this is huge. So yeah, you would spawn to an event, like say Scorched Earth, and then you wouldn't have that event no more. You would have to fast travel back to the Scorched Earth event itself. So that's awesome. I've seen that before. I had no idea what was going on with that. So I'm so glad they fixed that. Players now correctly join an active public event when walking into the event location. Thank you. The quest tracker no longer persists on screen after completing load bearing. Okay, good. That's not really an event I play too often because all the ores are so damn bugged down there, but hey, at least they're adjusting some things about it. I mean, I guess we can't complain too bad. Hopefully they continue to fix that instead of a bunch of frozen ores down there. It would be a great event for getting materials and metals so fallout worlds fixes setting the snap toggle to collide now correctly allows placement of camp objects without encountering intersecting object out errors i want to play more with fallout worlds now that they're starting to fix it and make it a little bit better there's some probably some cool things you can do with that if you guys have done some cool stuff man i want you to uh email me possibly any kind of snapshots or videos or Put them in the discord uh, but you can always email me at bakernerds at gmail so i want to see y'all's camp builds and i want to display them in a video so please email me your camp builds so items fixed an issue that caused thorn armor's bleed effect to stack unintentionally oh my gosh to help account for this change the bleed effect now deals five times its previous damage okay so the thorn armor might actually be significant now 
that's worth checking out and it actually makes me want to halfway buy it that's one of the last power armors that i haven't bought so what we might have to mess with that guys addressed an exploit that could cause a weapon to deal more damage than intended under certain cir circumstances don't know exactly what that was about sounds interesting addressed an exploit in which players could obtain certain magazines repeatedly from the same location so guys they definitely did fix this i'm not gonna lie i had to go check it out all right so we go ahead and read it press start go into photo mode hit B and it's not there oh yeah it just disappears now so instead I believe you just pick it up when you hit photo mode now so yeah guys that's fixed we just got to move on from that that was fun while it lasted so moving on the captain cosmos helmet now correctly prevents damage and disease from airborne hazards vats attacks using automatic melee weapons like the ripper now correctly progress the critical hit meter okay see they're slowly fixing items like the ripper and other chainsaw effect or any any kind of automatic i guess moving melee weapons because that's going to be introduced here in the near future those weapons are going to be insane and i cannot wait some range weapon updates missile launchers now correctly take addition damage from use and they are no longer unbreakable I didn't know they were unbreakable. That's that's pretty interesting. Alien blaster and alien disintegrator projectiles now correctly impact objects and terrain. Oh, good. The alien blaster and alien disintegrator, I've actually been very curious about. I, I made a video on the alien disintegrator. I'll link that in the description below. But uh, that turned out to be an insane weapon. And I rolled a bloody basically right away so definitely check that out guys addressed an issue that could cause water sources to appear to stop flowing when playing fallout 76 in a language other than english that makes no sense <laughs> what does that even mean so why why did it stop flowing in another language is that is, is bethesda hinting at something todd howard is hinting at world war wait for it i'm calling it right now it's happening allies no longer continue to appear as though they have a weapon drawn after leaving combat my ally runs all over the place so i have a base down in the cranberry bog and almost where the queen is and my ally will be at like watoga station shopping so I, I who knows fix the client crash that could occur when using vats melee attacks in third person that's great fix some more client crashes when rapidly scrapping and storing objects in the camp that has reached maximum build budget okay that's freaking wonderful fix some sounds added sound effects that play when opening and closing the key ring and the pip boy grenades excess sound effects no longer play when drawing a weapon with certain types of grenades equipped sounds cool at least they're fixing stuff like that toggle to siren on and off repeatedly no longer causes its sound to stack thank god that, that, that thing is obnoxious lengthy enemy names are now spaced and sized more appropriately in the nearby corpses menu that's i'm, I'm down with that dr zorbo theme poses are once again available in photo mode okay adjusted the photo mode pose list so that pose titles and animations are back in sync okay there we go i love i love me some fixes to photo mode scoreboard on consoles the player's current atom balance now updates immediately after purchasing ranks via the rank up to here button on the scoreboard okay you never know how many spaces you're jumping so i'm glad they updated that i don't really use it because i play this game way too damn much but it's definitely helpful for people that are about to spend a lot of atoms on the scoreboard, which I wouldn't suggest to do. The dailies are just too easy to get and you have way too long to be able to complete them. So I wouldn't suggest buying them regardless. That's, that's a good way for them to make money though. Fixed also another thing with the rank up here button. It remains grayed out after purchasing items or after purchasing atoms. So they fixed that. So that's awesome. Using the default buttons in the display options menu now correctly reverts display settings to their default value. Oh, good. That's freaking awesome yeah guys so they've definitely fixed a good amount of stuff so i'm excited about that the biggest one being they fixed the magazine glitch it is what it is no longer will we be able to get this cool little magazine that was fun though i just discovered it not too long ago or actually i've heard about it i just never did it myself but yeah guys if you found this helpful or entertaining hit that like button and subscribe more importantly and hit that bell notification so you won't miss a thing and i appreciate you guys watching man i'll see y'all next time peace